What is up, peak? This is your boy Jay. I am out here with the 04 LX Sport, and I am going to be changing these rear shocks. Um, I just picked up a set of these uh, Monroe F150 shocks, and boy, look at that! That shock there, man. Yeah, look at that shock there. We're going to have to cut this off. This is a Monroe shock here. F-150, we're going to be using these. And we'll be replacing those that's inside of there. So, yeah. We're definitely going to be replacing these shocks here. We're going to be using these Monroes. For the uh for this uh 04 LX Sport, and we're gonna take these old uh shocks here, and we're going to I'm gonna use them for the 01 Town Car. Now, as you can see, it's easy to change the shocks on them, but this car here, I'm gonna have to get inside here or in here if I can get in there somehow. And get back there somehow and get that uh it's kind of difficult to see because it's tiring away. But we gotta get back there and we gotta break that bolt loose to get that uh shock out of there for this one here. I mean this thing has seen better days. It's seen better days. So we're going to replace these with those and then we're going to put the uh the uh chevy tahoe z71 coil springs on her we're going to we're going to take these off we're going to remove these coil springs we're going to put the chevy tahoe springs on here we're going to remove these yeah so yep let's go ahead and uh get started Taking the wheels, the covers off, taking the wheels off, getting the car jacked up, and um, let's get these uh, shocks on here. All right, guys, we got the shock on. I uh, made a few things. I wanted to uh, made a few uh, things, gaskets or whatever. What should I say? Spacers or whatever. Made my own spacers. This one is on. So we're gonna put the wheel back on. We're gonna see how this thing looks with the wheel on. See how this looks once we get the wheel on. Well, it looked like it gained a little bit more height with that shock on there. Let's test. Hmm. Well, look like we gained a little bit more height on here. But we'll see when we get ready to put this one on this side here. But now that I got everything, all the kinks and bugs worked out, now we're about to put this side on and we'll see what the rad high really looks like. All right, guys, oh, I got my tripod out and we're gonna be actually going through the procedure on how to change this shock hill on the passenger side. So I'm gonna be actually showing you guys step what I'm gonna be doing to change the shock so it's that way so I won't have to be pausing the camera a lot now. Take the wheel off. Take it off the wheel. Alright, we're just taking the wheel off and we're just going to be changing that shock there. This side, just pull the wheel. Changing the uh, bolt up here, and that's an 18. Top here, right here is an 18. Here, we're gonna be taking this one off. So, I'm gonna have to put a what's the name right there to secure that while we change this here.
So. so yeah, but to see it first hand, what I'm doing here. I'm not going to take it all the way, all the way out just yet. Because I'm going to be, uh, keep the camera steady over here. In fact, I should be able to just get the tripod here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. Let's lift this up some. All right, let's get that right there so we get a good steady shot here. Now you get to see it for what I'm doing. I'm not going to take it all the way, all the way off. We'll leave some on here. Because now we got to take the one off the screw on the bottom here. Here. On the bottom. I'm going to lower the tripod here. And back it up. So you can see what I'm doing here. All right. Take that wheel off. here. There are 18 here on, the, on here. We have 15 on the back. So we can loosen this off. We got the bolt here. in here. Then I'll drop that from the top, the rest of that from the rest of the way. I'm gonna assemble our other Broken uh, exhaust hanger here. Open this up so I'm gonna go inside us. I don't know how in the world I got this in here and I put this in here. But this is weird how oh, I got this in here, but it's coming out. It's coming out, but it would never be in here again. So I don't even know how in the world I managed to get this in here like this. This is what's killing my progress. I don't know how I managed to get this in here, guys, but it's coming out. And it is almost out. There we go. We got it out. Now we can finish taking it off at the top there. Get our 18 back at the top here. Finish removing this up here. Finish getting this guy here off the top here. So you can see what I got going on with this guy. Now.
should be able to take it off now. Alright, so put that in now. And that shock has been removed, guys. Now, we're gonna be ready to get the shock out. All this hardware. We'll cut this off with the cutter. Got the shot together. This is going to be on the inside. Now we're going to put all the hardware together for this big long shock. How long this thing is, y'all? It's Monroe. So we get the part number right here. Made in USA. Made in USA, guys. Monroe. Let's get the uh, hardware and stuff here. Let's get ready to put this on. Oh yeah. It's the stuff that I have for this. Oh, there it is. Use this. Flip this down here. Got it on like that. This here. Like that. Now, what we do next is we're going to assemble the shock. In here, we got the parts and everything in like this. We're going to take this other grommet here, like that. And we're going to take this guy here. That goes up top with it. We're going to add a brush here. Oh, I don't like it. And we're going to get ready to... So we'll add our extra washer on top. There we go. Okay. Put our nine sixteenths in here. Tie it down with the nine sixteenths. There's our nine sixteenths. There it is. We tie it down with our nine sixteenths. Now we take our nine sixteenths. We're gonna tie it down. There we go. Our nine sixteenths. Like that. 
so we can get in with that. Bottom. Okay, we're just not going to tighten it all the way up here because we got to be able to get this what we want it. So we'll get that done pretty soon. put the bolt and everything in put the bolt in now we're gonna I'm gonna show you the things that I've done to fabricate this guys so you can see how I got this shock and everything in here but Lord this hair down for you so you can see it tilt that a little further so you can see what I'm about to do here with this so Go ahead and let me get this bolt in here. Put that in like that. This is going to be facing this. Push the shot up. All the way up like that. Spacers. That's it guys, we got that on, we got that in place, now I use myself an extra little block here and this guy here to get it in place and take my uh, 18 here and my 15 on the back end here. Or should I use it this way? And now, and down here, get rid of a little bit more. Just like that, see? You don't want any movement in the shock. No, you don't want any movement. And now that we got that done, take our 916 and finish tightening this down up the top here. Take that there. Just tighten the shock up until it looks tight. And guys 
We got the Monroe shock installed. Both sides. Now it's time to put the wheel on and uh, check the ride height on this thing. So let me zip the wheel on and bring it back to you guys. All right, guys. There it is. The uh, car is shocks are on. Need to uh, pull it up and get that get it off the um, boot here. Yeah. Like we got a little bit of ride height increased here. So, I'll hit and start it up here. There you go. Check engine light is on because we have these EVAP canisters shit we gotta get taken care of with this car. There it is, guys. We got an increase in the ride height. So, there it is, guys. We just successfully changed out the Monroe shocks. That's what these are. Monroe. Monroe Matic Plus. Gas charge shock absorbers. These are for a 2001 F-150. So, if you want to put these on there, you get these at O'Reilly's. Uh, they're pretty decent price for these. You know, Monroe is a good name for stuff. So, there you have it, guys. We got the shocks on. And we're going to uh, test the car, for, take the car for a drive and see how it feels. But other than that, guys, we just successfully put the uh, some better shocks on the uh, 2004 Crown Vic LX Sport. So this is your boy Jay signing off. Saying peace, be safe, be blessed. I will catch you guys on the next video. I'm out of here.